Nice to meet you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dong Hui from Seoul National University of South Korea. It's an honor to be here. My thesis is different learning effect on squat exercise regarding two types of visual feedback. Squat strengthens the lower limb muscles, smoothing blood flow to the heart, and further contributing the prevention of metabolic syndrome. And preceding research shows that beginner's plantar pressure is biased toward heel, different from that of our experts. Vision is one of the most important information during motor learning. Therefore, before planning complex feedback, we want to compare learning effects through visual information, which is feedback of main dimension. Visual feedback corresponds to quantitative feedback when performance is provided as a numerical value, and qualitative feedback when the quality of performance is provided without numerical value. So the hypothesis is difference in foot pressure distribution, center of pressure sway, coordination structure of lower limb will appear between examination points or groups. Participants are consist of adult men who had no trouble performing their tasks. This study was approved by Seoul National University Research Ethic Committee. Each group consists of 10 males, quantitative, qualitative, and control group. There were pre-test, post-test, retention test, delayed retention test. Each test proceeded 10 continuous squat, 1 blocks, 30 seconds. The practice proceeded 10 times, 3 blocks per day, progressed 5 days. 40 BPM for up or down, which means 30 seconds for 10 times. All groups had a common view of themselves and skilled video. The difference was as follow. The qualitative group was trained on the color codes that appear from the skilled at down and up, and then received the color code of planter while squat. Quantitative group was trained on the number codes that appear from the skilled at down and up, and then received the number code of planter while squat. The variability of pressure percent of forefoot rear foot shows the quantitative group is significantly increased than control group on post-retention delayed retention test of down point and retention test of up point. And only delayed retention test on down point and retention test on up point for qualitative group than control group, which means they try to modify their plantar pressure control. The accuracy of pressure control on forefoot rear foot shows that quantitative group significantly gets better than control group in delayed retention test of down point. While on up point, we could find that quantitative group gets better than not only control group but also qualitative group in delayed retention test, which means quantitative group controls their plantar pressure better than qualitative group in up point on delayed retention test. There were no significant difference in relative COP sway, but we could found that qualitative group tends to sway more on anterior posterior while squat, which means qualitative group has lower accuracy but sway more to control plantar pressure. There were no significant difference in continuous relative phase. We could only find that at delayed retention test, qualitative group tends to change like experts the red line than quantitative group. The yellow goes down, but green goes up. To sum up, quantitative group controlled plantar pressure better and sway less than qualitative group, and qualitative group tends to change their coordination structure of lower limb to that of experts more than quantitative group. According to the result of present study, it seems that improvements in motor performance can appear differently according to the type of visual feedback. Collectively, the findings show that quantitative augment visual feedback could improve results of motor performance and plantar pressure control better. And we should progress more specific experiments about whether qualitative augment visual feedback could improve coordination structure of lower limb better. Thank you for listening.